A wind whip fire that destroyed several homes in Susun City is now being called arson. KPIX 5's Da Lin spoke to people who lost their homes, and he's got the very latest on what sparked the fire, Da. Yeah, police are looking for three arson suspects. They know who these suspects are, have their names. Now it's just a matter of tracking them down. The fire started about 100 feet behind the Sasun Wildlife Center, right there where you see the yellow caution tape. Now, the fire chief says it's arson, even if their intention was not to burn down nearby buildings. As police look for the suspects, families return to assess the damage. None of it makes sense. None of it. Firefighters say the vegetation fire burned three homes to the ground and caused major damage to four other homes yesterday on Maple Street. Richard Lewis says part of his house is still standing, but the damage is so severe it's a total loss. The attic was on fire, so the firefighters did what they had to. His home of 17 years, tears and disbelief. Man, that's, uh, it's weird times right now, man. It's, it's bad and... Sassoon City Fire Chief says the fire started about 100 feet behind Sassoon Wildlife Center. He says people were using a makeshift grill to cook and that fire got out of control when the wind started blowing 20 plus miles per hour. I'm, I'm angry. Um, this is not acceptable. Uh, reckless burning is not acceptable. We need to be better than this. The chief says they've already recorded 49 fires in Sassoon City so far this year. Same period last year, 24 fires. He worries about the fire season. This is the first week of June. We're not even in the fire season yet. We're already losing structures. The fatigue level is really high within the fire service. We have COVID-19 pandemic. There's riots going on. We're trying to prepare for. Um, it, it just seems like the world's worst game in Jumanji. Every week it's something new. The Sassoon Wildlife Center is also tired and worried. This is their fourth fire. They say the previous three were also intentionally set. The main building survived, but they lost seven animals. Losing the animals is the hardest part. We can rebuild any of these buildings. We can, you know, that's, it. but losing animals that we've known and loved for many, many years is the toughest part. This is one of the outbuildings that got burned down. They have a couple of outbuildings that were burned down that house some of the animals. Uh, the executive director at the center says she wants to focus on the positive and move forward. As for the suspects, once they're arrested, they are going to face reckless arson charges, according to the fire chief. Live in Sassoon City, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.